multiphase, analytical, numerical, and nonlinear. Start a new document and accept defaults through to step 2. Enter a value of 50 feet for the pay zone and 20% for the porosity. Click Next, and for the PVT, use the built in correlations for the oil properties. As we are going to use the value for the gas oil ratio to define the PVT, we have to select the multi phase option. Tick the box Define Advanced PVT. Here, enter a value of 3,500 psi for the reservoir pressure. The temperature is 200 degrees Fahrenheit, and the GOR is 500 standard cubic feet per barrel. Leave the gas and oil properties with default values, click OK, and accept the other defaults to start the document. Select Load Rates to load from an Excel spreadsheet, and select the spreadsheet file Rates underscore Pressures. Open the spreadsheet and select the Rates tab. The first two columns are OK with the duration and oil rate. Change the third column to gas rate and the fourth to water rates. Change the column names from the default file name to oil, gas, and water, and load. Click Load Pressure from an Excel spreadsheet and select the same spreadsheet as for the rates. Select the Pressures tab and click Next. Check the validity of the columns and click Load. In the pop-up warning window, select Skip New Data, tick the box Apply to All, and click OK. Rename the Analysis tab as Start. Make a copy of this analysis and call it Oil Only. Next, do an automatic delta pressure extract and match by right-clicking on the analytical model icon. We now have a match using the default match parameters. However, this is oil only, but we have also water and gas rates. To see all the loaded data, click Edit QAQC and select the QAQC button in the top toolbar. Go back to the analysis and make a copy of this analysis, copy the oil only analysis, and untick all the tick boxes. Click OK, and in step 2, click on the advanced PVT icon and tick the water box. Click OK, and accept the next pages to create a new analysis. Next, go to Extract and select the multi rate icon and tick the water production data box. We can see the total production rate by clicking the Show QT button. Close that window and double click OK. Create an automatic model by shift click on the analytical model icon. We again have a perfect match. To see the differences between the analyses, click the compare icon and select the analyses. Click on the Results icon in the top toolbar and visualize all the model parameters. But the total permeability has changed from the value of 14 millidarcies in the oil only case to 21 millidarcies in this case. Create a new analysis and make a full copy of this latest model and name it Perrine. Go to PVT, Diffusion, and in the Analytical Modeling tab, select the Use Perrine option. Click OK and rerun the model by doing a shift click on the Analytical Model icon. Make a full copy of this last model and name it Perrine Plus Relative Permeability. In this new analysis, click on the PVT and Diffusion icon. Go to the Analytical Modeling tab and tick the Use KR box and on the Relative Permeability icon. We will change some of these default values. The SORW is 0.15, the KROW max 
equals 0 0.8, KRWO max equals 0 0.6. Tick the box No Extrapolation. Please note, we do not need to change the gas values as the well is producing above the bubble point. Click OK and rerun the new model. Next, make a full copy of the last model and name it Numerical. Select the Numerical model icon on the left-hand side, click on the Reset from Analytical button, and Generate. We now have the same match, but this is using the Linear Numerical Modeling. To see the differences between the four multi-phase analyses, click the Compare icon and select the last four analyses. Click on the Results icon in the top toolbar and enlarge this window to visualize all the model parameters. We can see that the simple oil and water model only has an equivalent permeability, but no split between oil and water. The Perrine only option has a split between the effective permeability between oil and water. In the Perrine Plus Relative Permeability model, the absolute permeability has increased from 20 to 49 millidarcies. In addition, there are a number of additional parameters such as saturations and relative permeability values. The numerical model has the same parameters as the Perrine Plus Relative Permeability model. Please note that all these linear models, including the numerical one, assume that properties like saturations and PVT parameters are the same everywhere. Close the comparison window. Next, make a full copy of the numerical model naming it Nonlinear Numerical. Click on the PVT and Diffusion icon and select the Numerical Modeling tab. Select Real PVT and click OK. It is important to realize that this is fundamentally different from the previous linear modeling. A nonlinear simulation uses the mass balance for the production, so it requires all the producing phases for the calculations. Therefore, go to the Extract option, select the Multiphase Rates icon, and add the gas production data. Click OK and go to the numerical model. We need to enter the value for some parameters based on the last Perrine model. Therefore, we enter a value of 45 millidarcies for the permeability, the water saturation is 40%, and the skin is 0 0.3. Note that the reservoir property values for a nonlinear multi-phase simulation are not exactly the same as for a linear model, due to the different assumptions in the calculations. This ends this session on multi-phase analysis.